All right, guys, so we are heading back for the third time to Sturgeon Valley Athletic Club. The reason why is our last Bod Pod video, we did my 10 week kind of summary, but turns out one of the settings on the machine was set to me being a African American male. Now, obviously, you guys can tell that I'm not, okay? So we're gonna go back, and it's about a week later now. Um, since we did the first one that I hope and it was my birthday last week so I ate bad and I had maybe a few pops so oh, I'm nervous all over again <laughs> that hopefully my results didn't change too much um, I don't know if they're gonna be better or worse so stick with us mama sees coming we're about to pick her up and cross your fingers for me we get the same results or better check you guys in a little bit You're on Team Castle Universe. <laughs> Mama, Bod Pod, you excited? I will break the camera. You're going to show it off. <laughs> I'm excited for Mom. The reason why is because we've been working out together for how long? Seven months. Seven months? And she has a little bit of thyroid issues, things like that. And she's a little bit older. <laughs> so it takes a little bit more effort in your diet and in exercise to see the same results. So like me, I've lost about 100 pounds in under a year-ish. And she's been working on, haven't really seen, she's been up and down and kind of all over the place. So this is going to give us a more accurate um, depiction of exactly what's happening. Is she gaining a lot of muscle compared to what she had before? Or is there something we need to switch up, whether it's the workouts or is it the food that she's putting in her body? Um, and hopefully we find out an answer for her. So. still we'll see how it goes okay cool so that's how that's the way it went hopefully my weekend birthday party <laughs> didn't <laughs> affect it too much and then like we said again we're going to be testing mama c that's right um again just to get a more accurate reading for her so she has an idea of what's going on you know with her fitness and, and nutrition and things like that or any health things that we need to watch out for so yeah. it's gonna be great I'm gonna get changed again, so I'll see you in the pod. All right. Good. Well, so we're at 257. What's that? <laughs> two pounds, good. Two pounds? All right. That's 255 last time. Yeah. What the heck? Happy birthday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My weight fluctuates like that. Mine does too much. Not crazy, crazy, but five pounds. It's like, five yeah, two, pounds. five pounds, yeah. Yeah, a week. Yeah. Up or down. Alright, let's get it. Remember, two? It should be just two. So it should yeah. Be it well. Sit nice and still. Oh, let me just put this on you just so that I feel better. <laughs> don't, want my, don't want my hair to get messed up. <laughs> I raised the dynamic today. Like halfway through. Did so it? Alright, there you go. Ready? Yeah. Two. Your 
body. And then that's it. So I open the door. This is 84. Alright buddy, we're done. Cool. All right guys, so we just got the most current, the most accurate results back. The reason why we want to make sure everything's as accurate as possible is because of this. So one setting that was literally just saw me as, again, an African American male essentially, instead of a Caucasian it's male. Like a bone density reading. Yeah, it makes it slightly different, right? Yeah. Um, but this is the difference between the two. So on the last test, my percentage fat was 38. Hold up, stop everything. Let's look at the real results. So we may have accidentally did the settings the same way again and messed up the results. So I'm gonna give you guys the exact results. I got them here. We did it again just to make sure that what the results were were accurate. So I'm gonna read them off for you. We had fat percentage about in January was 37.3%. Uh, this time when I went and did the scan, it was 33%. So that's a dropping of four, about 4.3%. So that's huge. Um, also, we're looking at total fat weight. So I had 99.4 pounds of fat, okay? And now when we scanned in, it was 84 pounds. So that's a drop of around 15%, which Hey, I'm not not 15 15 pounds, my bad. Which I'm really happy about. It just shows that I'm consistently doing results. So bonus on that. We got lean weight. So I was I had 167 pounds of lean weight, and this time when I did it, it was 170.6. So that's an increase of 3.3 pounds of muscle. Mom, pass me that pound of muscle. So this is one pound of muscle. So if you take this and you times that by three, you know, a little extra shoulder muscle, a little extra bicep muscle, a little pec muscle. Hey, you can take that back. All right, so my total weight pre-January was 266.7 pounds. And now when I weighed in, I was 254.5. So guys, we are 4.5 five pounds away from losing 100 pounds. Now, I've already reached that because I've added muscle on over the time, but I want my total weight to be down by 100 pounds. So that's what we're aiming for. And when we do that, we're gonna have a huge thing going on. I can't say much yet, I wanna keep it a secret. But now that you see my results, let's get back to mom right about now. <laughs> Tall. Yeah? So was I. I need to step right up. 5 3 exactly. See, it used to be 5 5. 5 4. I shrunk an inch. You shrunk an inch? I shrunk an inch. <laughs> I feel like I came here, I shrunk 2 inches. I thought I was 5 11. And then they tell me how. Oh, I think I was 5 5 at one time. 175, so that's 5 9. Good for me, I lost two inches coming here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what happens when you do three bod pods. You shrink in height. No, that's not right. All right, so we got when these when these uh, results, and yeah, so we're gonna be talking about the percentage of fat. It's 52 percent right now. Your percent of lean muscle or just lean muscle in general is 48 percent. Okay, so the fat weight is 118 pounds, 118.6 pounds, your lean weight is 109.4 pounds, and your total weight is 228 pounds altogether. Okay? Awesome. So this is this is a good indication of what where, where you're starting. I know you've been working out a lot, but now that you have these numbers in front of you, now you have goals that you can put in front of you, right? Okay, so if we look at the, at the chart behind us, the female chart, okay, we, what we want to do aim for is getting you into the excess fat window first. Okay. 
So you gotta get and you gotta get you away from the fifty percent to a good 30, 38, 35 to thirty-eight percent. Well within three months or so, you could be done, right? With the, you know, the same thing. Like you guys keep on working out, keep on doing what you're doing. But eventually, yeah, it'd be really nice to see whether you in the moderately lean or really low into the excess fat, right? Even like you know what like a 32 percent yeah just for an age group right totally and that's the same journey that i did because i was high third i was in the 30s which for a male is is excessive yeah risky high body weight um and then now i'm in the excess fat uh range so now my goal is to get sub 20 or hit that 20 kind of mark and then go from there and see where i go to yeah and right. being like superman I need eight percent, <laughs> but moderately lean, you know, like one, especially in your journey, moderately lean would be an achievement, achievement all its own, right? So, you got so it. I have about ten more percent to go. Yeah. So keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing awesome. Awesome. Mom, and now you got a benchmark. Wendy, we gotta set something Boom. for what's your goal? Do you want to do three months? I will try for three months. So yeah. a 12 week challenge for you is to get those numbers lower than what they are now. Yeah, right? I like to see a person and I like to see her, uh, like, obviously a, like below 40%, right? Right. If nothing's impossible, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Get there. Yeah. And worst case scenario, you know, as her, her age takes it, everything's a little bit tougher now at this point, is you get to see those numbers and lower. You know, worst yeah, case, good. they're lower than what they are now, and that means they're on the road to getting healthier. Yeah. Right? Which is good. I know you can do it. Keep on working hard. You've been doing it. And we'll be back in three, three months. months. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again in three yeah. months. Peace. Yeah. That's it, friend.